so today i am going to implement uh, this uh, open world rain and thunder system for unreal engine 5 so and that's the demonstration you just saw that's what i'm going to work on today so uh, those effects are directly coming from these videos that i worked on where i implemented this rain particle and this thunder particle so i have just put them into this um, open world map where i implemented uh, migrated simply migrated into unreal engine 5 so i and i have just modified the lighting of this level and also this material of the landscape a bit to match a rain in atmosphere uh, so now i'm gonna do some modifications to this thunder and rain to make it uh, to adapt it to an open world setting so right where do we start so first here in this scene i have this post process effect and this rain ambient sound let me first move this to under lighting okay right so now let's create one actor for the rain so let me check, open this bp thunder here let's add the same rain particle maybe we should rename this bp rain thunder okay and let me delete this Niagara system from the world and add it to this rain thunder system right now let's see here it is okay did I remove it from the world yeah and also let's remove this SW rain audio effect also from the world and add it down the friend sound like this Mm. Now, if I play, why am I not here? I'm not hearing the rain sound. Oh, sound effect is not the side. right and the next thing is uh, so since this is an open world player could be uh, I can't afford to spawn the rain particles all around the world so if the player starts from a location like this then the so what I'm planning to do is here um, maybe are we using the tick here no right then let's set the tick to maybe like 0.5 second because we it's good for performance we don't need to change the location of this object in every frame 
in order to follow the player uh, so here set actor location get uh, actor location and as the target I'm gonna give get player character all right now let's see that is the rain is starting way below so maybe we should move it upward maybe thousand units Another issue is the thunder plane. We are actually moving in this relocate part we are set we do set actor location so maybe we should get the thunder plane and detach from component everything keep world 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 and set world location of it set word location and rotation so location is the same rotation we only need to change the yo the reason I detach it from the parent is uh, because since we are changing the actor location of this rain thunder because in order to follow the player character that will also move the thunder plane or uh, if we keep it attached so that's why I detach it let's test And it's a bit too much. Uh, what 500? Sorry, oh, I was changing the scale. That's completely not what I should have done. But what happened to Thunderplane? Hmm. Oh. One more thing, uh, yeah. Actually, the thunder plane will not be visible to us if it is not like this, for facing like this for the player. So maybe 
it's not a good idea to detach it and relocate so we should keep it as it was so then what we can do is we can mm, change the word location or the rain only yeah so in the begin play I'll detach and strain from this side And in here, uh, instead of setting that location, I'll get NSRAIN set word location. That should also do the same thing. So what we can do is we can add maybe thousand units is working as intended let's try somewhere like this Okay, everything seems fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should uh, increase this uh, for uh, increase the distance from the thunder plane to the player. So 5000 to 8000 actually I increased it of the recording and this one also. Since I have increased the forward distance to the side, so also maybe we should have some increased value. <laughs> I feel that they are too close to the ground so how about 
2000 here. seems fine and i'm going to stop this episode right here thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye